Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to see how easy it is to create a quiz with Google Forms. Quizzes can be delivered to students, new employees, or in any situation where you need to assess somebody's knowledge. With a Google Forms quiz, you will be able to assign point values to questions, add explanations to each question for clarity, and of course, see the responses as a graph and summary so you can easily assess how your respondents have done. There are a couple of ways that you can start making a quiz. Starting with the Google Forms home screen, choose Blank Quiz from the Templates. This will open up a new form that is set up as a quiz. If you already have a form that you want to turn into a quiz, you can do that too. We'll open a form that I've started and turn it into a quiz. At the top of the screen, we're going to click on the gear icon and select the Quizzes tab. Then click on the slider button next to Make This a Quiz to turn it on. Now we can set whether we want the grade for the quiz to be released to the user immediately after submitting or later after you've reviewed it manually. If you choose the manual review, this will turn on email collection for the user so that you can communicate with them. At the bottom, there are a few options that are checked by default. These allow you to control some of the things the respondents can see, which questions they miss, what the correct answers are, and the point values for each question. Uncheck any of these options that you don't want your users to see. When you're setting up your questions, you'll notice there is a blue answer key link at the bottom. Click on this to see some options for the question. In here, you can select the correct answer as well as enter some feedback text that will display when an incorrect answer is chosen. This is useful to help point users in the right direction if they've chosen the wrong answer. When you add feedback, you can also add a link to resources for your respondent to view. I'll add a link to the Digital Egghead website and show you how that looks when we fill out the form. In this section, you are also able to assign how many points the question is worth. This is in the upper right. One thing I want to point out is that you may want to turn off the ability to submit additional responses. This is located under the Presentation tab and is on by default. Let's go ahead and fill out the form to see what that looks like. When we're done, we can click on View Your Score to see the results. Since we left everything turned on, we'll see it all. Now we can see the total score in the upper right. For the questions that were missed, we can see the feedback. The one with the link to the website is clickable, so I can click on it and see what I should have answered. This link could send a user to a Google Doc, website, or any other thing that you can link to for reference. Now back at the form, we'll take a look at the results. I'm going to select another example form that I've filled out a few times so that we get a better idea of how this looks. Click on the Responses tab at the top and we can see that we have a few options. The first is to view as a summary. This gives us a summarized version of all the responses in a graph format. We can also view each question's answers. This shows how many times each answer for each question was selected. And lastly, we can see the answers chosen by each respondent. So you can look at each individual's full responses. So that's how to create quizzes with Google Forms. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in another one.